Well, what we're seeing here, I think, is a manoeuvring tactic by the far right in Italy to try to provoke early elections, going against the major part of public opinion to try to bring down the draggy government uh, because it feels that it has a greater chance maybe of grabbing power now than if it waits for the elections next year. And as uh, Seema Gupta was just saying, if the government were to collapse despite this confidence vote and despite the fact that Mario Draghi has won it in the Senate, uh, th there would be elections in October and not next year, maybe in the month of May. So they would go to the polls a lot quicker. And uh, the reason for that is that the, the five star uh, party, which is part of the coalition, which won the most votes uh, in the last elections, has 227 seats in the 630 seat Italian parliament, uh, says that it's going against Mario Draghi's policies. It's going against uh, his uh, economic aid package of 23 billion euros, saying that it wants the cost of living crisis addressed more quickly, and therefore it can't support what Mario Draghi is doing. But be, if, you, if you read between the lines, uh, it is also attempting to bring down the government so it has a greater chance of maybe forming a centre-right or far-right government uh, if there are fresh elections coming along, because most political pundits in Italy say that if there were going to be elections, it is probably going to be one which is won by the right or the far right, and they will take control in, in if there were to be elections or, or early elections in Italy before next year in May.